but I kept searching and searching because I knew I'd finally received something in the physical from the Holy Ghost, which means it came from the Father and instructed the Holy Ghost to give it, right? You don't take that with a grain of salt, man. You got to take that with, with everything you have, especially when you ask for it. <clears throat> so what happens? I do a search right on target means bullseye. I'm searching bullseye. Turns out that the eye of Taurus, right? You guys know the, the bullseye of Taurus, right? This eye right here is the big, bright eye called Aldebaran. My name in the English is Al Dubray or Alan Dubray. So it had, a, it had a similarity, which was pretty cool. But what was crazier is that this eye is the 14th brightest star in the sky, and 50 means bullseye. So the bullseye means 50, and it's the 14th brightest star in the sky. I started to freak out. It was Ed that found that it was the 14th brightest star in the sky. So, of course, I start digging into it more, and a whole group of us start digging into it more. And the revelation from the video was that it was the number, the Hebrew number 14, that equals the number 50, which is the word noon. The, the Hebrew number 14 is the number noon. Okay? It's the word noon for 14 in Hebrew. And it equals 50. And this I, which equals 50, it represents 50 and is the 14th brightest, had the name Noon. And we say, well, where did it have the name Noon? And you guys know the story, the Shroud of Turin. We know with absolute certainty the Shroud of Turin is absolutely true. The technology has proven it out more and more and more with more and more technology. And he had a pendant for which I believe in my personal opinion, not a boast, but I believe from my own personal opinion in the experiences that, that have been happening for five and a half years, I believe the revelation of this pendant was for us. I believe that with all my heart because what was on that pendant? The head of Taurus. I in. Remember the right eye of Taurus when we're looking up in the sky, the right eye of Taurus, I in? That's the name of it. It means I. Ain or I in, it means I. It's the 16th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and it means 70. Aleph being one, meaning the beginning. Remember Christ, the middle cross, being Aleph, one, the beginning. Is represented by one, but it's also the, just the head of Taurus in general, being Taurus. And the left eye, which is the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, or the 14th brightest star in the sky, which is represented by the number 50, was the word noon. And the pendant Jesus was wearing was Ayin Aleph Noon. I've scoured the internet to see if anybody knows anything about this. And all they were able to show was numbers and counts of it. I have not found anything that anybody has realized that it's the head of Taurus. It's unbelievable. And what was the revelation? 70, so 70 comes to an end, right? From right to left, like the Father. 70 comes to an end, then begins 50 days and the 14 years. It's the revelation of Jesus' pendant. How did we come across it? Noon. The revelation of noon, which brought us to the revelation of the eye of Taurus called the bullseye or right on target. How is that possible? Do you know, let me show you this. Do you know, for those that are newer, that the revelation in that video and how it came about, again, it was a process, but how it came about was that in Revelation 13, starting in verse 16, actually it starts in verse uh, 13, uh, chapter 13, verse eight, it says the tribe of Ephraim, see, of the tribe of Ephraim, Osi, the son of noon okay osi is the name hosea deliverer what is one of the books that we've revealed that is open to us in chapters to years it's the book of where are you hosea 14 chapters in in the in the book of romans paul tells us that <laughs> that um the lord had a beloved right in osi 
that wasn't his that would be his. Because Hosea or Osi, the deliverer, is written to the Gentiles or the, the house of Israel, right? Scattered throughout the earth. The Gentiles grafted in. And here he is, Ephraim of the tribe of Ephraim, Osi, Yeshua, the deliverer, the son of Nun. What happens? Moses changes the name of Osi, the son of Nun, to Yeshua. Yeshua, Joshua or Yeshua. What is this a picture of? Who is our deliverer? Christ is, of course. Who is Yeshua? Jesus is, of course. You see, he's the deliverer and he's the savior. He is the O.C. and he's the Joshua or Yeshua. Well, who's his father? His father is Noon. What? Wait a second. What was Noon? The 1450. The 1450 connects to the father as Noon. And it's the father who gave the revelation led by the spirit to this person in the final generation to prepare a group in the revelation of understanding without dreams or visions prophesied over 2000 years ago look at what noon means you don't believe me look at what noon means perpetuity perpetuity look at the look at the word it comes from perpetuity the the root word to re-sprout, to be perpetual. Do you know what the word perpetual means? Check this out. The word perpetual means never ending or changing. Who do you think that was? <laughs> do you think maybe it was noon? You think maybe it was noon? Noon revealing noon? craziness right let me show you something with al de baron i did not realize this as i was digging right i was getting excited now i was my my shoulder I, I slept through the night two nights in a row i slept right through the night everything's fine and guess what my shoulder i'm i'm doing like full rotations and everything nothing hurts everything lifted when i was led to the revelation and to bring this forward Look at Al de Baron. You know that Al de Baron, I'm not going to go into all of this, but do you know Al de Baron is called one of the four royal stars? There are four royal stars that each have a section of the sky. There's a guardian angel. Now, this is more astrology, but it, we're not talking about astrology here. We're talking about the movement of the sun, moon, and stars, not what these guys think it is. You can go do your own research for the four royal stars. There are four of them. Aldebaran is one of them. Aldebaran is the one in the bull. The one that the Spirit gave us as 1450. The ministry is about the 1450. And the video was about how Noon was the father of Hosea Osi, who has his name changed to Yeshua as if it's the end of the six years of seals. He's no longer the de deliverer, but now he's coming as Yeshua. And his father's name is Noon. 